What's up, everybody? Welcome to Tap Day Reviews. I'm your host. You just call me Tap. And uh, I'm here with a special guest. What's up, guys? My name is Billy. All right, so uh, today we're reviewing Bumble Run. Uh, I've tried it before, just to let y'all know, but uh, I've never tried it side by side with a knee shot and a shot on the rocks. But uh, have you ever tried it? Actually, I've never tried it before. Um, this will be my first time. You do you drink rum? Uh, I've had rum cake. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <that's> so <laughs> so what you usually drink? Uh, Crown Apple vodka, uh, low Patron silver. Oh, okay. basically. Yeah. So out of there, like, what's your what's your go to? Right now, Crown Apple. All right, I like Crown Apple too. Uh, yeah. so uh, tell them a little bit about yourself. Why uh, crack this bottle? Sure. Um, again, my name is Billy Fairley. You know, uh, I run Divine Culture Clothing, Culture Clothing Company. Basically, what I do is I want to bridge the gap between fashion and culture. And uh, I'm here today to, you know, try some new alcohol. The trash to side. So, uh, with Bamboo Rum, it's a uh, this a fifth, 750 milliliters. Uh, it's a uh, 40% alcohol. I mean, it's an 80 proof. You know anything about it? Uh, other than it's it's based on um, what is it? Caribbean pirates or <laughs> Caribbean pirates? <laughs> Caribbean sellers um, like intermingling like certain Caribbean um, spices and everything into the rum. Okay. To, and they called it bamboo allegedly. Okay. And I also heard that uh, they kind of use sugar cane to make it. So it's probably going to be a little sweet when we try it. it works for me. I'm from the city. <laughs> <laughs> what else about Bamboo? Uh, the Wine and Rick Ross, they even endorse Bamboo. I've seen it plenty of times in their videos. Uh, so we're going to crack this bottle up and see what we're working with. Because we're quite kind of uh, <laughs> <laughs> Want to smell it? Smell like that. It's kind of sweet, actually. Like aromatic. Yeah. Oh, that's that's right. What's the first thing you think of when you uh when you smell? It's a little sweet and spicy. Sweet and spicy. Okay, we gonna uh. <laughs> it's Boston's. So I have to uh, <laughs> use this on some weed or something. <laughs> so I'm gonna pull these uh these neat shots. So basically, we wanna uh we're gonna try me, and then we're gonna try. It on the rocks. Sure, appreciate it. Oh yeah, it smells straight, man. And uh, I know I'm going to pull the uh, rock shot. But I still mess a little bit, but we gonna be drunk. <laughs> <laughs> That's the point. That ain't a shot. That's a double shot right there on the rocks, but you know, it'll be all right. Right, today. It, it'll get us through the, the whole review. Nice little cold. Yeah, it smells good. Yeah, it do. I mean, I've had it before, but uh, we gonna uh, want to give a toast to anything, man. <laughs> Actually, toast to this this channel, man. Hey, man, tap the reviews. Tap the reviews. Who does a big shot? That's smooth. Man, you know, I, I already like it. But, uh, <laughs> no, that, that's hold on. I like that. It's, it's real smooth. It's uh, it's sweet. It's aromatic. It's like a maybe got like a vanilla in it. You got in the barrel? Not really. Okay. How about we go? How about we go and try it on the rocks to oh. see uh if it changes in it. I swear we're gonna give you know give me two this two. Yo, I actually love the smell more than I actually <laughs> probably like the taste it smells <laughs> amazing. Hey man, it smells true for me, I ain't gonna really start. What they be saying, no cap. <laughs> no cap. <laughs> so uh, what you think about on the rocks? I actually like it better than me. I get a, like more of the flavors, more of the the different 
I guess spices. I yeah, I don't, I don't know what else to call them other than spices, but I can taste them. But in this, like, it's diluted a little bit, so it goes down a lot smoother than it already does when it's neat. Yeah. Um, I like it, man. Well, I, uh, I think if I was to choose the way I drink it, I like it neat, but uh, I probably go with on the rocks. Contrary to you, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I like it on the rocks. I like uh, cause I, I still get all the flavors. It's just a little cooler. Yeah. And of course, with the little water melting and the dilution, it does dilute a little bit, but it's it's still out. It's our, it was a favorite before we even started. <laughs> so, <laughs> but uh, so what would you? So you know what? Since this is a their reviews. Uh, we're going to have a rating scale. It's going to be 1 to 7. Okay. I know a lot of people do 1 to 10, 1 to 5. We're going to do 1 to 7 since 7 is perfect. Okay. And 1 is 1. So, <laughs> so uh, what would you uh, give this? First time trying, 1 to 7. 1 to 7? Um, I'll give it a 7. Oh, shit. Okay. I'll give it a 7. Um, Man, that's, that, that's, a, that's a tall order. Taste, Take- smoothness, uh, smell it's it's just appealing the bottle is amazing like the design on the front it looks like something out of pirates of the caribbean which is one of my favorite <laughs> movies <laughs> like it, it hey man it, that's it's, it's great I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed it man because uh if i was to rate it okay how about this neat shot versus uh on the rock shot what you neat shot what you rate it on the rocks what you rate it Due to the simple fact that you can have a neat shot and you can have it chilled, the glass could be chilled to make it cooler, um, I would give it about a 6.5. Okay. But only because this dilutes it, I couldn't give it an absolute 7. If this was chilled, if we could somehow combine these two, it would be a 7. Okay. <laughs> a, chill, a chilled glass with bamboo yeah. 7. Yeah, okay. or, or, or at least just chilled bamboo. Okay. Pour it into a regular glass, neat shot, I'll take it any day. Okay. Um, I would give it, I think I told you this before we even started. Uh, it's it's my favorite. Like, it's one of my favorites. Uh, I give it a, I give it a seven. So, uh, neat, I would give it, I like it neat. That's, it's a, it's see, a, now it's, he's going back. It's a, it's a seven all around. I'm giving it a seven all around. Uh, neat and on the rocks. Neat, uh, neat's not bad. Yeah, so uh, since we've been drinking a little bit, uh, you got, uh, so, on Tap Their Reviews, we have a section called Two Turn. Yeah. So, if you want to tell the viewers of a time that you got Two Turn, they would love to hear it. <laughs> I'm ready to hear it too. But uh have you ever got two turn, man? The time I got two turn. <laughs> um Look, while you while you thinking I'm gonna uh finish <laughs> you'll, this. you'll finish that off? Actually I do got a story about uh, a time I got two turn. Actually it was probably the first and last time I got two turn. Um Okay. It was probably about twenty fifteen, man. Um I was chilling with this little chick for the sake of the video. <laughs> Let's just call her uh, Tisha. I'm okay. just call her Tisha. Tisha. Yeah. So if you watch your Tisha, which you, you just make believe, don't don't pay this on. Yeah, your name is made up, Tisha. But um, so I was working at H E B in Texas, right? Um, okay. Overnight, and it was this one little bad thing, like just. She just kept coming by my aisle, you know, because she worked in the deli, so they kind of start overnight, too, because they prep for the next day, right? Okay. And then one day we go outside, everybody outside smoking a cigarette or whatever, and she, like, flirting with this white dude, you know, and I'm like, nah, I, I, I want to beat shorty <laughs> on some crazy, like, you know, if, if she talking to him, I'm in there. So, um, Why, because you like skin, or he just, he ain't, he ain't it? Because I'm... Player, nigga. Okay. <laughs> keep, keep it rolling. Okay. 
at the time I was crazy with the with the with the play games. Um, okay. So basically, what I did was I went over there. You know, I started chatting it up with her and every now and then, talked to her in the break room, whatever. And then uh, one day, she came to work, and she was like, "Is it okay if I tell you something?" I was like, "Yeah." She was like, "It's okay to tell you that I masturbated to you last night." And I was like, "Whoa, word." I was like, I'm trying to see what the real thing like, right? Oh, Lord. <laughs> so I told her that. I got a question. So, like, yeah. was it, like, any previous, like, talkers before this, or she just kind of... No. Man, that's... That's, <laughs> that's why I was saying, like, I if if he could talk to her, I know I'm in the dark. <laughs> I want to hear the rest of this story. <laughs> <laughs> so, check this out, right? So, one night... Cause she told me that in like a week go by and we don't really see each other. Cause like we just working, working, working. Um, I go into the break room and she in that kind of sleep. So I'm not even supposed to be on break, Okay. but she in there and she alone. So I'm finna try to pull a little move. So I go over there. I'm kind of talking to her. We on the couch and you know, I'm a kisser just on some, <laughs> Basic nigga shit. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a kisser. So we start kissing in the break room, which is disgusting, by the way. Um, we kissing, we making. Hey, Kobe, out. what are you going on? With me? <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine if Kobe was going on. Oh, I'd have it three, four times over. I assure you. <laughs> <laughs> so we kissing or whatever, and uh, I was like, "Yo, come with me real quick. I gotta take you somewhere." So we go out like. The HEB I'm working at has an upstairs bathroom for the employees, right? And I was like, yo, come with me in the bathroom real quick. She was like, what are we going to do? I was like, we'll figure it out when we get in there. So we go in the bathroom. <laughs> you know, it, we just start going at it, right? But I had on a pair of cargo pants. So we was going at it, and I ripped a, a rip from, like, my inner thigh to my knee yeah. in the pants. So now I'm completely exposed at work. Yeah, I feel like SpongeBob. <laughs> we, so we stop. So um, we we stop. I go to the car, change pants. You know, we don't talk for the rest of the night. But she gives me her number, and I give her my number. So after that, we text for a few more days. After about four more days, now it's been what 11, 11 days since this whole ordeal started. Um, about 11 days in, so she texts me, she sent me a little risque picture. I'm like, babe, I'm dropping the ad. <laughs> Come through, right? At this time, I got a roommate. Yeah, and sip on some, this on ice <laughs> <laughs> me and my roommates are always going at it. It's three dudes. It's, it's a black guy, white guy, and a Mexican guy living in the house. We are going at it. <laughs> we, like are, we are animals. <laughs> We're doing everything we can. But we all have a common interest. And so she come through one night, right? And uh, we're sitting on the bed. She's been drinking a little bit before she got there. But she has Coke on her. Coke, and like cocaine. Coke. Oh, I thought Coca. you Coca Cola. Like she, like she had. <laughs> probably that. Probably that too. But she has a, a bag of Coke and she like pulls it out and dangles it. I was like, man, you don't do no Coke. Like, you don't do good Coke. You know, I'm acting as if, like, uh, you know how guys build a little macho to try to impress a girl. Yeah. You know. And everybody, I feel like every man has done it at some point. But yeah, me, I, I can admit I've done it. But I feel like this was like the worst time to do this. <laughs> With cocaine this, involved? Yeah, this is cocaine. Like, you don't do it while cocaine is involved. This is a horror drug. I'm thinking this is going to be some two turned about a, a a spirit, but it's a, about a, oh, no, a no, schedule no. one. S schedule S two. Spirits come in. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm going to let you uh, So, finish. she was like, I do great coke. And I'm like, no, you don't. You know, we're kind of going back and forth. She's like, okay, bet. So, I have a computer desk, really big computer desk. She just started break, breaking it down on my computer desk. It's like, this is awkward. I, I shouldn't even be here. So she bumps her line, right? And puts a little bit in her gum. And she was like, oh, you, you ain't going to hit your line? I was like, no, nah, I normally put it in my gums. <laughs> like an idiot. <laughs> Boy, complete idiot. Is this your first time doing coke? It was my first and very last time doing coke. <laughs> 
all you know to put in your gums. And, and <laughs> so I scoop my line up like an idiot, like scoop it up on like a little playing card and dump it in the inside of my lip, right? Mouth is dry, disgusting taste. This feels horrible. It feels like I'm swishing sand around in between my lip and my gum. So it probably cut my gums, yeah. but also it's seeping into my bloodstream through the cuts. So after a while, I've ingested some too, which you could die from, which is a horrible thing. Uh, I recommend that no one does drugs. It's a really horrible thing. Um, and this was a learning lesson for me. <laughs> but uh, I see after I do that and it's all gone now, she has a bottle of ENJ. She's just like down in it. She was like, here, drink this. And I kid you not, about seven minutes into this, everything zoned out. It was like, and I was stuck. Mm-hmm. And I, but I felt like running, screaming, yelling, and jumping at the same time. Man, that's wild. <laughs> and, and now we're drinking E and J on top of it. So she has like, so we keep, you know, we're just we're just going at it. Now we're kissing, feeling on each other, ripping clothes off. And she has this cobra from like her waist to her knee. Okay. And the head of it is right where you want it to be. (laughs) (laughs) So I'm so high, I kid you not. Um, Man, like when I saw that cobra, I started like stroking the cobra. Like it was alive, man. I kid you not. (laughs) Only weirdest thing. And she was like, <laughs> she was so in love with me, man. It was like ridiculous. I was like, she should not have, like, she should have noticed that I had never done cocaine a day in my life. Or that I was the guy that I was portraying myself to be. So I'm rubbing this snake for about two hours. Like, mind you, we are doing our thing at the same time. Yeah. While I'm rubbing the cold. Okay. And it's just, after... I say about two more hours, because this all started at around 9.30 p.m. Yeah. At around 2.30 a.m., I can no longer remember anything. <laughs> because after 2.30 a.m., everything blacked out. Mm-hmm. Uh, I woke up the next morning, and she had went into our kitchen and cooked me breakfast. And I was like, I don't even know you. So that actually created a long term relationship with her. That's crazy. <laughs> but we never did. Two turns turned into a relationship. Like this. EJ, EJ and Cocaine. Cocaine should never be added Dude, that should be a song, man. Like, yeah. It, that's why. Like, I. What I asked, like. <laughs> me asking you two terms, I'm just okay. It's gonna be about some, you know. It's about the drunk hungover, threw up, you know. I didn't expect this, sir. I didn't. <laughs> hey man, it's um, one for the books. I'm telling you, like, don't mix stage four drugs <laughs> with alcohol, kids. Stay in school, please. <laughs> uh, what whatever you do, do not try cocaine. It's dangerous. Um, well, I'm a. I'm going to try my best to stay away from cocaine. Um, <laughs> I'm going to try my, my best to stay away from Coca-Cola. Fuck that. Stay away from Tish. <laughs> and Tish with the snake tattoo. Yeah, but uh, that, that that was interesting, man. Uh, I'm glad I'm glad to uh, hear that because that's one for the books. Uh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Now, you gave it a seven. Of course, I give it a seven. Like, it's, yeah. like, I'm not, I would consider myself an experienced drinker, but uh, this is, it has a great taste, smooth, sweet, everything you would want. Like it still has. I don't know. I I like it. It's the smell, rocks, cool. Like even if you just like uh like take a neat shot and just swish it around in your mouth, I doubt you get like the grimace face from. It. Yeah, it's it's one of those alcohols. Which there's not many alcohols, and I know there's a stigma of like, oh well. You know, some people actually like to drink alcohol, but you could tell people that, like, just drink alcohol to get drunk because you see the grimace on their face when they're drinking certain things like Henny or whatever that's really, really strong. But, I mean, it was it was super, like, 
it was a more, I guess, uh, seasoned alcohol. Okay. Like it, it has flavor to it, you know, and I look at, I would look at that as if like I look at Dr Pepper. You know, when you drink Dr Pepper, you get like so called twenty three flavors. Yeah. In it. You taste the cupcake and it's all that like type of different stuff. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, would on this, occasion, would you consider this like the Dr Pepper of liquor? Only in one aspect that like, it has like the flavor. flavors. Okay. Yeah, but as far as in quality, I put it at the top. There, there is nothing else. Okay. Yeah. If if this was the soda industry, it'd be Coca Cola. Okay. Yeah, it'd be number one, but it'd still be Dr Pepper as number one. Big guy. With the flavor, yeah. If that makes sense, not sure. But I actually enjoyed it. It's pretty great. Okay, so would you buy this? Uh, I didn't let the people know how much it is. Uh, I really can't remember. It's, it's in the. I got it lower than forty dollars. I know some places might sell it at forty dollars, but I got it for about about thirty thirty five dollars. Uh, I dropped the price below. Uh, so with with a seven, I just would assume this would be. A new drink of choice if you just got $30 to spend on some liquor. Yeah. Okay. I would definitely drop 30 35 Um, I also live in Texas, so, I mean, I'm paying 30 for Crown Apple. So, <laughs> if, <laughs> if this is 35 40 I can see myself paying for Yeah, and that, that extra 5 dollars won't hurt for me. Yeah, and it's... What you get? It's a pretty big bottle. Um, yeah. Well, that's what... That's what's I, up, man. I you definitely know, endorse um, it. Appreciate you, Rick Ross. Appreciate you, Wayne, for endorsing this. this because is a great without child endorsement, we mm-hmm. probably don't even know about it. Like to be honest, like I probably would have never tried it. Um, Cause it's a it's a wrong. Like most people are accustomed to Hennessy and yeah. Um, yeah no, Hennessy is a rock. You know the the popular names, but this is definitely smoother than Hennessy oh, by yeah. any chance. And it's rum. It's <laughs> rum is like one of the first alcohols. So yeah. I mean, it's well, yeah. it's it's perfected, damn near. It really, it, I like it. Like, yeah, it's it's great. It's, it's it's a favorite of mine. Like I would definitely get this anytime. I probably wouldn't buy it at a bar just because I'm cheap. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, buy it by myself and drink it before I go to a bar. Like that. Yeah. But uh, that's a that's the review for Bamboo. Uh, Got any social media that they need to follow? Uh, you can follow my business social media at Divine underscore culture underscore clothing. Um, that's basically the only platform we have right now. Or you can check us out at www.divineculturecloathing.com. Okay. That's basically it. Well, that's it. Thank you, Billy, for uh, being here and trying this bamboo thing. Hopefully, we'll have you on here again. No problem, Tap. All right. All right. <laughs>